Okay, so today we're going to learn how to solve by comparison and replacement. The method of replacement is used when one item can be replaced by the other item when there's a link between the two. In the solve by comparison method, we usually break down the problem into two mathematical statements, and then we bring the two statements to a comparable state through multiplication. Let's look at example one. Two similar books and three identical pencil boxes cost $42. Two similar books and six identical pencil boxes cost $60. How much does each pencil box cost? First, we're going to break down the problem into two simple equations. So we have two books and three pencil boxes are $42. Then we have two books and six pencil boxes are $60. Since the number of books is the same in each equation, two books here and two books there, we can just compare the number of pencil boxes. So we have six pencil boxes minus three pencil boxes is 60 minus $42. That gives three pencil boxes is $18. However, it's asking how much each pencil box costs. So we're going to have to divide both sides by three to find that one pencil box is equal to $6. All right, example two. Four identical calculators and five similar staplers cost $78. Two such calculators and two such staplers cost $36. What is the cost of each stapler and each calculator? Again, we're going to break it down into two equations. We have four calculators and five staplers are $78. And we have two calculators and two staplers are $36. So these statements are not comparable because the number of calculators and the number of staplers are not the same in either of the equations. So we can solve this by multiplying statement two by two. When we do this, we get two times two calculators plus two staplers is $36. And we distribute the two to find that four it's four calculators plus four staplers is $72. That's our modified equation too. So now we can solve by comparison. We'll take five staplers from equation one, subtract four staplers from equation two, and that's 78 minus $72. That lets us figure out that one stapler is equal to $6. But the question is asking the cost of each stapler and each calculator. So now we're gonna plug the price of the stapler into equation one to find the price of the calculators. So we'll take four calculators plus five staplers times $6, because each stapler is $6, is $78. So that gives four calculators plus $30 is $78. We'll move the 30 to the other side to find that four calculators is 78 minus $30, which is $48. However, we have to, again, divide both sides by four to find the one calculator is equal to $12. Moving on to example three. Two watermelons and three honeydews cost $48. The cost of each honeydew is twice as much as each watermelon. What is the cost of a watermelon? Again, we're going to write out our equations. So we have two watermelons plus three honeydews is $48. But we also have one honeydew equals two watermelons because each honeydew costs twice as much as each watermelon. From that, we can figure out that since the equation has three honeydews, we can figure out that's equivalent to six watermelons. Since one honeydew is two watermelons, three honeydews is equal to six watermelons, because three times two. Now we can use the method of replacement. We're going to keep the two watermelons in equation one, but then we're going to replace the three honeydews with the six watermelons we just found that it's equivalent to. So we get that two watermelons plus six watermelons is $48. So that's eight watermelons is $48. Divide each side by eight to find that one watermelon is $6. Example four. There are 78 students in classes 3A and 3B. There are 80 students in classes 3B and 3C. There are 82 students in classes 3A and 3C. How many students are there in each of the classes? For this example, we're gonna let the number of students in classes 3A, 3B, and 3C be A, B, and C respectively. So let's start with our equations. We have A plus B is 78. Then we have B plus C is 80. Finally, we have A plus C is 82. From the above equations, since there's two A's, two B's, and two C's, we can conclude that two times A plus two times B plus two times C is equal to 78 plus 80 plus 82, which is further equal to 240. If we divide by both sides by two though, we find our very important equation that a plus b plus c equals 120. And since the total number of students in the three classes is 120, we can subtract the three equations from this big equation to get our answers. So let's start with c. We'll rearrange the equation to find that c is equal to 120 minus a plus b, because we move these to the other side. 
But if we look up here, we find that a plus b is equal to 78. So c is equal to 120 minus 78, which is equal to 42. So there's 42 students in classes 3c. Let's move on to a. Keep a on this side, move b and c to the other side. So we find that a is equal to 120 minus b plus c. Look up here to find that b plus c is equal to 80. So we find that a is equal to 120 minus 80, which is equal to 40. So there's 40 students in class 3a. Finally, we look at b. Keep b on this side, move a and c to the other side. Find that b is equal to 120 minus a plus c. Look up here to find that a plus c is equal to 82. So b is equal to 120 minus 82, which is equal to 38. So there's 38 students in class 3b.